Hi guys, Troy at the Full Setup here, back with another video for you, and today we're taking a look at the Ballistics Tactical Tracer RGB gaming memory um, from Crucial. Um, and in this video, we're going to be looking solely at the RGB effects, but there will be a full review on my channel, and there's also going to be an overclocking video as well. So make sure you go over to the channel and watch those videos. But um, today, all I wanted to show you, as I just mentioned, is the Mod Utility software. I'm going to briefly show you the software, um, where you can download it from, as you can see here on screen. Um, and then I'm just going to let the video roll. We're going to just show all the lighting effects and I'll shut up. So you want to get yourself over to ballisticsgaming.com and then just find your memory. So we're going to go Tactical Tracer, RGB. And then you just go over to the downloads and then you just want to download the mod utility so that's downloaded you're then going to want to extract that install the software and then you should have as you know windows 10 search is crap it's down here somewhere it's called the mod software as you can see i've already got the mod software open first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything is you want to set so it auto runs at startup because if you haven't got auto run at startup set, you're just literally gonna get a solid color. Mine's blue, so at least it knows it's Intel for the rig that I'm on at the moment. But yeah, make sure you tick that first thing. But here you can see we've got the SPD data. Um, so this is gonna show you all your JDEC timers, XMP timings, helpful if you're trying to push that overclock, they can give you some timings to start and work with. Um, I haven't used this for my overclocking video, but useful. Temperature of the dims, okay, it's nice that it's there, but can't really see you using it that much um, and then here we go you've got all of the LED controls now you can sync singly per module so you can just do one dim and you can have different effects on each dim so let's just change that so we should have a different one you don't need to do a save you can save obviously for when you're building custom profiles but you can do that but we're just going to go sync all for now oh no as me saying you don't need to do save so you can adjust the speed of the effect which is all over the shot um, so you can change the color as well just to a solid color and then you can sort of tweak that color what you want the white's very good as well actually as you can see they the white is very good now even better than this that is the advanced option and here you can just select a zone and then you can, you know, decide whatever colour you want it to be. You can have that as blue, have that as white. Set that per zone. You can set the option per zone. So yeah, the world really is your lobster with this software. Anyway, I'm going to reset all of this, um, and then we're just going to just show you all the effects. I'm just going to go for all the effects. I won't do any more advanced stuff, but because I can't see what I'm doing, but we'll just uh, go through all the effects. 